Hey everyone, Retired Navy Rob here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I went by my local coin shop and all their currency was out to a show. So I told my boy to go ahead and pull through the constitutional dimes. Uh, currently, I believe it was around 19 face, 18 and a half face, something like that. Not bad. Uh, Lois, I've seen it for a long time. Uh, most of them were Roosevelt dimes, but there was one barber in there that was pretty cool. Pretty good detail on it still. But the one thing that I got that I've been wanting to get one for a long time and I finally found one at a price that was a good price. I got a pre-1933 two and a half dollar piece from uh, 1906. Beautiful detail on that. Even got some cartwheel to it. So for those of you who don't know the story behind the um, pre-33, in 33 Roosevelt made it illegal to have gold, to own coinage of gold, unless it was really, really collectible, uh, which this is now, but back then it wasn't. Or if it was for art or jewelry. And they paid everyone about $20 an ounce. And then pretty much overnight, I think it was actually like a year later, maybe not even that much. Um, they rose it from $20 an ounce to $35 an ounce. That's when the government controlled the gold price. And we were on the gold standard. And it wasn't until Nixon took us off the gold standard that you could own um, gold coins and such. Look at that liberty in there. Beautiful coin. In the 62. So, I just wanted to share this with you. I finally got one. I'm very happy with it. Y'all have a good night and keep on stacking. Such a long, long, long way to go. Yeah, my cup is nearly empty. I got such a long, long.